you ask a few people to name some of America's favorite dishes. You will probably get some replies that are similar – pizza, burgers and fries. It's no secret that there are popular menu items at both fast food and formal dining establishments. But what about sushi, gyoza or hummus? You might be surprised to learn that the top 50 foods in America are much more diverse than you would typically find in a high school cafeteria. A nationwide network of sushi restaurants demonstrates that Americans eat more than pizza, burgers and tacos. Here's a look into that. A recent report has Kurasushi, a nationwide network of sushi restaurants claiming that Americans consume more than pizza, burger and tacos. And what do they eat? Sushi! Americans are increasingly eating sushi, the raw fish with rice or vegetable food. The majority of Americans had never even heard of sushi until recently. It wasn't until the late 1960s that the nation's first sushi restaurant opened. Since the idea of consuming raw fish did not immediately take off in America, many Japanese restaurants started experimenting with new flavor combinations and sushi rolls. Sashimi, nigiri, chirashi, maki, uramaki and temaki are the six popular delectable varieties of sushi. One of the most well-known variations is the now ubiquitous California roll, which is a uramaki roll with cucumber, imitation crab meat and avocado with white rice. Americans adore sushi, with an estimated 62% having had some type of the Japanese cuisine. It can range from sashimi, which are thin slices of the freshest raw fish, to maki rolls, which are filled with either cooked or raw fish and veggies. In some establishments, you may even get rolls stuffed with steak and cheese. How did this relatively recent culinary import get so popular? Various forms of sushi are seen as healthier than many other fine dining options. It surely helped that America's first sushi restaurants were opened in Los Angeles, garnering recognition through celebrity clients. People are willing to spend a lot of money on sushi and purposely steer clear of deals because eating inexpensive fish has been linked to a number of health problems. As of 2023, there are 31,374 Japanese restaurants operating in the US, a 4.7% rise from the 2022. And Kura Sushi is a leading player. It was first established in Japan in 1977 and has since become increasingly well known. It sees little competition on the national level, has a solid bank sheet and expects to have lots of room to grow without having to rely heavily on franchising. Kura Sushi USA was founded in 2008 as a division of Kura Sushi Incorporated, a revolving sushi company with over 400 locations and a 35-year history in Japan. According to sales growth, Kura Sushi USA was ranked number 15 on Restaurant Business Online's Future 50 list in 2018. They provide their customers with a small plates menu that includes more than 140 freshly cooked products. The parent company owns every one of its 43 locations across 15 states in the United States, which has supported its expansion in an antiquated method rather than franchising them, which is typically the quickest and easiest way to receive finance. However, it is starting to expand eastward as well, especially in Philadelphia, Watertown, Massachusetts close to Boston, Fort Lee and New Jersey. It has predominantly been found in the West and in California, primarily in suburbs. It plans to connect to New York City through a station in Flushing, Queens, a bustling neighborhood with a sizable Asian-American population later in 2023. Even though there is a popular belief that Americans consume pizza and burgers a lot, that doesn't seem to be true anymore. For the fiscal year 2022, Kura Sushi saw a rise in fourth quarter revenue to $141 million more than doubling the $64.9 million profits it had made the year before. Furthermore, sales at restaurants rose 81.9% over the previous year, and by the end of its fiscal year in August 2023, it actually plans to increase by about 50 units or 25% annually, which would be a significant expansion. Due to the pandemic's indoor eating restrictions at a few of its California locations, its revenues dipped in 2022 and 2021. However, they recovered as clients' appetites for eating out returned. It had prioritized company-owned expansion rather than the conventional way of franchising because its profit margin was 21% last year. As a result of the outbreak, many mom-and-pop sushi shops were forced to close because they lacked the financial sheets to exist. The benefit of introducing more eateries to fill the void is now available to Kura Sushi. Although Americans prefer pizza, burgers and tacos for their restaurant chains, the senior vice president of investor relations and business development at Kura Sushi, Ben Porton, has the view that sushi is very healthy compared to burgers and pizza. It enjoys utilizing technology to improve customer service. A two-layer conveyor system, for instance, is used to transport a sushi belt around the restaurant. 
Drinks are delivered by delivery robots to the table. What will decide Kura Sushi USA's future success? This question was asked to CEO Hajime Jimmy Uba, and the answer liquidity first. It finished the quarter with a balance sheet of $26 million, access to a revolving loan of $45 million, and no debt, giving it ample runway for expansion. Along with selecting assets of the highest caliber, it also keeps a strong management pipeline. Sushi in America How did it all begin? The majority of Americans had never even heard of sushi until recently. It wasn't until the late 1960s that the nation's first sushi restaurant opened. How did this relatively recent culinary import get so popular? Because they had seen World War II and continued to view Japan as the enemy. Many Americans in the 1950s were somewhat resistant to Japanese cuisine and culture. The tide had begun to reverse by the 1960s. Nevertheless, and Los Angeles became the first American city to provide genuine Japanese sushi. A nigiri sushi bar was established in 1966 by a sushi chef and his wife inside the Japanese restaurant Kawafuku in Los Angeles. Although not popular with American diners, the eatery was well liked by Japanese immigrants. Young chefs left the rigid and constrictive traditional system of sushi creation in Japan and started their own businesses in Los Angeles. In 1970, just near to the 20th Century Fox studio, the first sushi restaurant outside of Little Tokyo opened its doors. It gained the name Osho and attracted affluent, famous patrons like Yul Brunner who frequented it during lunchtime. Sushi gained popularity as Americans were encouraged to eat more fish for improved health throughout the 1970s, as Hollywood started to appreciate the cuisine. The famous Shogun series changed American culture's perception of Japan. The series was a huge success, being viewed by more than 30% of American households. A Japanese economic boom that drew numerous Japanese companies to the United States in the late 1970s and the early 1980s occurred at the same time as the debut of the Shogun series. This in turn prompted a new influx of Japanese immigrants. The combination of Americans enthralled by Japanese culture and gastronomically homesick Japanese led to a surge of interest in Japanese food, particularly sushi. Hasaki, arguably New York's longest continuously running sushi restaurant, opened its doors in 1984. Hasaki was created as a result of the surge in Japanese immigration. It gave expats a welcome taste of home. Americans' interest in Japanese cuisine rised in time and more restaurants were established. Offering a good number of delicate dishes, these restaurants are becoming one of America's top priorities. So what's America's favorite sushi? Number 1. American California Roll The Americanized California Roll comes in number 1. The sushi roll was first served in the 1960s in a restaurant called Tokyo Kaiken and was created in Los Angeles. The chef utilized avocado and crab in place of the tuna in order to appeal to Americans who might not be fans of eating seaweed. He also turned the roll inside out and placed the white rice outside the nori. Number 2. Salmon Avocado Roll These sushi rolls undoubtedly meet the demand for healthy dining options, which is the one reason why people frequently choose sushi and sashimi. A 6-8 piece salmon and avocado roll has little over 300 calories and offers protein and good fat. Number 3. Shrimp Tempura Roll only three ingredients, flour, cold water, and egg yolks, are required to make the crispy, light tempura batter. The Portuguese missionaries, who introduced the Japanese to lightly fried string beans and had a significant influence on Japanese cuisine in the 1500s, left them with this recipe, which the Japanese eventually adopted. Tempura cooked food is delicious on its own. Think avocado, cucumber, and shrimp are added, and then the dish is wrapped in sushi rice. That's yummy. Number 4. Spicy Tuna Roll Typically made with raw tuna, spicy mayo, or sriracha, a spicy tuna roll is a type of makizushi. The roll is one of the more well-known sushi rolls in the United States and was created in Los Angeles, California in the 1980s. Truly talented cooks make sushi. They have the ability to make stunning presentations and rolls that are delicious as well. Going out for sushi with friends is almost as American as getting a beer and pizza. It is unequivocal evidence that Americans open their hearts and plates to different cultures pleasant things frequently result. Pizzas, burgers, and tacos, they are no longer on the top list of American dining. 